if you ever are at a dinner party and you get seated next to one of these two, it's gold. <laughs> it's Connie Chung and Maury Povich. Maury show Maury. In its 20th season weekdays, uh, Jenna Wortham and Wesley Morris host the podcast Still Processing. A uh, new episode drops every Thursday. Um, <laughs> Connie, what interview are you proudest of? I have to say. Rawr. I mean, um, you've done thousands of interviews, so I would imagine that yeah, that's a hard one. It's question. a hard one. Yeah. Well, when I saw Nixon during Watergate, and I happened to be walking into the White House, and he's just standing there, and he was keeping, he was underground, he wouldn't say a, a word. Right. And I kind of went up to him, and all Secret Service went, you know, swarmed around me. And um, so I was asking him all kinds of questions. Didn't want to take my pad and paper out, because yeah. I was afraid he'd stop talking. And all the, all the reporters are watching Connie talk to Nixon. Through right? the window. Very and jealous. Oh, out of the press room. You've seen the press room, and, yeah. and they came swarming out, in the. Secret Service kept him back, and I was asking him all kinds of important questions, and he really wouldn't answer them, and he just looked at me and said, tell me, how much money do you make? <laughs> and I went, excuse me? And he said, how much money do you make? <laughs> and I said, I make $27,000, but if I do an extra TV spot, I get an extra 35, or if I do an extra radio spot, I get an extra 25. And he said, you gotta listen to this. You got to make more money. <laughs> That's amazing. So she goes back, we and were... all the reporters are going, "What did he say? What did he say?" And I, I had nothing. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, I just. So by the way, did you go on the news? Was that when you were with NBC? CBS. You were with CBS. Uh -huh. I, uh, and I did you go on the air that well, night told... and say, "I spoke to yes, the and president," I said, and I asked him this, and I asked him right. that. He, he dodged this. He right. dodged that. But I didn't include this stuff about That's funny. how much money. <laughs> That's funny. Um, do you? Um, oh, uh, Martha R. from Pennsylvania. Did Maury ever have to take or give a woman a DNA test for his own personal reasons? Oh, uh, no. No. No, uh, no but uh, you know. I've been around so long, I cannot remember all of the things. <laughs> I think you would be able to remember. Catherine M. Facebook, Connie, do you regret asking Newt Gingrich's mother about Hillary Clinton? Oh. No, I actually don't, because um, she was whispering things to me. You know, she, yeah. was, she was like, I have a sister who always goes, does the same thing. She says, he had cancer, mm -hmm. or they're getting a divorce, you know? And she said, Hillary's a... Pitch. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. And the cameras were rolling and the lights were on yeah. and everything, and it was pretty obvious that, that you we were, were doing shooting an interview. An interview. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. And so then she did her little whisper thing, you know, and. Um, Newt went nuts. Yeah. yeah he he went crazy. Let's go back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, Andy. This is Shelly from Kansas City. Hey, what's your question? Uh, my question's for Connie, and it's actually two parts. Okay. If you had the opportunity to interview Trump again, what's the first question you would ask? And would you ever send Trump roses again? <laughs> Aren't you funny? He says that, no, he says that I sent him roses and um, he was so mad at me because he didn't like the way I did an interview with him. This was a long time ago, about in the, I guess the 90s, that he cut, up, cut them off and sent them back. That's not true. Right. Um, but. First I'd, thing you'd ask him. I'd ask him, has he ever seen a shrink? <laughs> <laughs> Back to the phones. Call her what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, y'all. This is Cindy in Florida. Hey, Cindy, what's your question? My question is for Maury. Okay. What do you think of the cash me outside girl? Oh, good question. Now, do you know this what's cash that? me outside girl? No. She is a spawn of Dr. Phil. Actually, she was on the Dr. Phil show. She, and she's now not she a has kid. A, now no, she, she doesn't have her own show. She's this mean teen, this bad teen. She was 13. <laughs> she was on the Dr. Phil show, right. and she's just a little juvie delinquent who's become this like Instagram famous girl. They didn't, they didn't, who, they didn't try to turn her around. They, he tried to turn her. She's as bad as she was. Well, she's a bad it, penny. <laughs> Do you have you heard of what, her? What's no. the cash me? She said yes. Of course you have. Um, you guys are you know uh, on it. She said 
Uh, she was saying, well, something, catch and she was like, catch me that? outside, yeah. how about that? And he said, yeah. what? <laughs> catch me outside, how about that? That's how she became famous. I bet I could straighten her out. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Maury. Maury. Back Maury. to the phones. <laughs> Call her, what's your name and from where are you calling? <laughs> Hi, this is Diana calling from Strongville, Ohio. Hey, what's Andy, you... I, I love you, I love Waka, and I love the show. Thank you. Okay, so <laughs> my question is for both Maury and Connie. Okay. What is your spouse's most annoying habit? Good oh, question. Oh. oh. Well, we, we, daily with me, she is insufferably late. For every single appointment, she's late for dinner. She's late to go to bed. I mean, I'm, I, I mean, you know, I'm a little older than she is, so I mean, I got a nice, reasonable bedtime at around 9:30, 10 o'clock. <laughs> but no, no, one in the morning. She's that still. That's true. Oh yeah. What are you one doing in the morning. Until then, Connie? Reading the papers. Really. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you Crack make a lot of noise. The papers. Oh, in bed. <laughs> in, in bed. bed? Yeah. Oh no, Connie, Connie. With the light on. <laughs> oh no. Um, and what is Maury's most annoying habit? Connie is in a fit of hysterics. What's your? What's oh, his most annoying? Just habit? for the record, we arrived here on time. I was going to point that out. Thank we, you. We made it. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, what uh, what is your what is his most annoying habit? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> he's um finishing your sentences. Yeah. <laughs> but he's also answering my questions. He he dominates conversation. Right. You know? right. Blah blah. You right. know, it's a talk show I host, do know. right? Yes. A talk show host. Honestly. You go blah blah yes, blah I blah know. blah. Yeah. And and he's so loud. Yeah. You know, he's got a booming voice. He does. Yes. And he can't a lot of whiskey. <laughs> he can't bring it down to an indoor voice. An right. inside voice. Modulation issues. Yes. Yes. Um and well, you so know Jews <laughs> We, really? We have modulation issues, yes. Do you think so? Yes! Are you kidding? Especially in this city. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So he's so loud. His mother used to say, Connie, I think you should sit across from him. Don't ever sit next to him, because he's so loud. <laughs> and I said, thank you. What a great bit of advice, you know? Back to the phones. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, this is Chris. I'm in Kansas City. Hey, Chris, what's your question? Hi, Andy. First, I love you. Thanks. Thanks for the opportunity. Hi, Connie. And hi, Maury. Hi. Hi. I have a question for Connie. Okay. Since your husband is an expert at lie detector tests, <laughs> have you ever told Maury a lie or a fib? And if so, did he ever determine if you were telling the truth? <laughs> I always lie to him, and he never <laughs> figures out the truth. <laughs> you know, he doesn't know. What's the know. last thing you lied to him about? Uh, let's see. Um, if I smoked a cigarette. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you still She's smoke one of those a little bit? Sneak. You're a sneaky. sneaky. You were always were. I saw you smoking uh, at the Oklahoma City bombing. You did? Yes, I did. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I we were there little, working. Really, and I know, guarantee I you, it working. wasn't just one. No, it wasn't one. Yeah, but it she does this. More than one. This is what she does. She doesn't carry cigarettes or anything. Uh -huh, I bum. She bums. But so yeah. we live in an apartment. That doesn't building. count. So we live in an apartment building, and now all of a sudden, uh, I, I hear the uh, the the elevator elevator door. coming up, and and who is that, Connie? Nobody. Okay, <laughs> fine. And the next thing, I walk into the bathroom. I go. Holy Christ, what have you done again? Well, By the way, how I long have, have you lived? Some suppliers, you know, in the yeah. building. Some suppliers so, in the yeah. building. I so I call that. the front front desk and I say, can you get me one? <laughs> <laughs> Just one. That's amazing. Yeah. And then sometimes there are uh, uh, vacation relief and they bring up one and they ring the elevator door and they go, they told me to give this to you. That's amazing. <laughs> I go, it's fine. It's it's just a cigarette. Yes. It's not weed. Yes. You're yes. doing nothing wrong. You won't get fired. Thank you. Right. How long have you lived in that building? Um, I moved there first. I oh. had a, oh, this, an apartment. This is a good one. This is really good. Well, <laughs> what, what we year? got married there, 1984. 80... Were you there when oh. Lennon was there? No. No. Okay. No. Yeah. And um, um, so then 
we got married when we were living in two different cities. I was in New York and Maury was, was in, in DC, Washington. Right? Yeah. Yes. You're so good. Why? Well, you, know? you know? Yeah, I know, I know but you are guys. really good. Oh, thanks. I mean, just like all those people. So who then are we calling. get married in her apartment, and then I still am in him. Washington. <laughs> And then about a year and a, and then uh, Rupert Murdoch brings me to do a current affair and I come to New York. He says, why don't we live find, together? Why don't we find out if you can live together? <gasps> and it took me, it took 10 years for her to put me on the deed. The lease. <laughs> on the lease. By the way, did you it combine apartments careful, or did you, you know? keep Connie's later, same apartment? <laughs> later no, you combine. Later we yes. bought another apartment. Right yeah. Everybody give it up for Connie and Maury and John and Leslie for more. Click around BravoTV.com. That was amazing. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.